What mask gainers and why would we use them? Can women use mask gainers? Well, today we're going to find out. So welcome back to the Mighty Man channel. I'm Beth, he's Jack, and today we're at the Bespoke Fitness Studio in Wigan. We're going to run through Hulk today, so it's Maya Band's Mask Gainer product. Uh, we're just going to understand a little bit more about it. But after the video, if you've got any more questions, drop it in the comments below, we'll be sure to get back to you. So Chi, go and tell us a little bit more about Hulk. Sure. So, some of you may not know Chi, give us a bit about yourself. Yeah, hi, I'm Chi, I'm the founder of Maya Band and the Innovation Director. And today I'll try and answer as many questions as you have. So, well, what's it all about? That's a good question. What is all about? I mean, the, the thing is, um, it's a mask gainer, uh, but what we have to understand is there are different mask gainers on the market, and with mask gainers, they can be quite varied in terms of are you looking for a lean mask gainer or are you looking to just gain size? Which end would you say this falls on? Yeah, so that one, the whole product is actually more geared towards the lean side, so your lean bulk up. So, really, it's, I think. It's more suited for people who are looking to gain the lean mass yeah. mm. uh, in terms of muscle. Uh, and in a way, muscle is actually heavier than fat. Mm. So that's, as you, as you know, Jack, yeah. so it, in a way, that's what we want to create, a more kind of a lean mass gainer for muscles. So if you're looking to just really kind of just gain size, then you would kind of plummet as many calories down yeah. as possible, yeah. whether so it's, it's sugar. Yeah. Exactly. So in a way... Uh, when I was creating the product, what I wanted to do was keep it really simple. So it's not packed full of sugar. Like, no. Like exactly, yeah. yeah. As a matter of fact, I think you can tell, like, I think the chocolate there, and they have the separate sugar content. Yeah, 3.5 slightly... grams. And what's yours, Beth? 3.45 grams. Yeah, so they are slightly different because of the flavours. Yeah. So with the Hulk, it is a very low sugar mask gainer. Now, I think what we don't want to be... Um, kind of put with is mass gainers on the market that are there generally just to make the size yeah. and that's when you touched on you know they'd be laced full with sugar. full of sugar <laughs> yeah. um, and full of anything else that you may not want to take yeah. and that's why we took the more natural ap approach to keep it simple can ladies take it very good question Beth uh, in a way what we have to do is number one when ladies hear mass gainer, it's maybe it's not yeah. really what they want to do, but it, it, you have to kind of get behind that and really say, that what type of mass are we looking for? Because we all know the more muscle we put on, they act as almost a furnace for your body to burn fat mm. naturally. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So we're actually burning fat, more fat when you've got more muscle. Yeah. So, and, and building muscle is, we all know, is very difficult. So yeah. you're not going to be turning into Hulk. No, we, we, wish it was that easy. <laughs> we, wish, we wish it was that easy, but unfortunately it's not. So what we have to do is kind of uh, let uh, women know as well that in the product, when you're going for a mask in it, don't be afraid of the, the actual name. I mean, the name itself, Hulk, is yeah, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's geared towards kind of like a, a big green monster. But in essence, really, what the Hulk is actually made of is protein and carbohydrates. And what we wanted to do was really kind of get the best protein and the best carbs in you. And talking about carbs first, so we all know that the carbs that we need, obviously if you're training, increasing your physical activity, then it's gonna deplete your energies very quickly. So we all know that we've got, you know, our fish stores within like the glucose in your blood. Once that's gone straight away, then you go into your glycogen stores. Yeah. So then there, after a prolonged period, maybe say 20, 30 minutes, you then hit the fat reserves. Yeah. So in a way, the carbs are really important for us to really um, be able to have the energy yeah. to do yeah. the explosive, yeah. like such as the deadlift. Mm. You know, we need that the carbs and the energy, energy to have that explosive impact. Yeah. And that's why we really kept it simple to have as high protein and as high carbs as we could get. So it's perfect for after a workout, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah, it's a perfect after a workout. Certainly don't drink it during. <laughs> it's, it's, you would feel sickly with it being a milk-based yeah, yeah. shake. But I think coming back to the question of, is it suitable for women? Well, would you eat chips? <laughs> would you eat potatoes? Yeah, yeah. It, it's just how you control yeah, your diet. Yeah, it's a cleaner carbon. Yeah, it's a cleaner it's, yes, yes, exactly. And in the whole, what you'll find is we've put uh, different carbs in. Right. And we all know that you've got 
kind of monosaccharides, the disaccharides, and these are all the big words that yeah, yeah. you know you use in the, sa- yeah, the, <laughs> the big words that scientists use, and it's just basically a single molecule or a double yeah. molecule yeah. or your polysaccharides, which are the bigger ones. So what does that mean for your training? So what is it? Good question. And it, in a way, what you want from the training is you want carbohydrates um, after your training, so you replenish your energy. Yeah. So in a way, you want carbohydrates which are immediate. immediate. Yeah. You want them to kind of a medium and a lot of more kind of a long term. So that's what. So when we come back to um, when you say a, a monosaccharide, yeah, yeah. that will give you instant energy yeah. because it doesn't need to be broken down. It goes straight yeah. straight into your body when you need it. So you're not going to get your, your lethargic feel after uh, a training session. Mm. But then you also want to stagger it where the actual energy replenishment slow is slow, slow release. release. So yeah. then you go into your disaccharides and then your polysaccharides which are very important yeah. to give you that energy throughout the day yeah. exactly so then obviously when you come to turn up the next day whether you're doing another workout then you got energy. exactly yeah so i think for uh the women's side i think you have to kind of see it as not a mass gainer but it's actually just carbs and protein yeah, yeah so yeah. it's um and so we should use it as well yeah, yes so exactly what would you recommend for a male for example uh it would Depend on the your physical activity and and also really kind of what your diet is. Mm. So a good way to kind of look at it is when you're eating foods. You know you're looking at with protein. We always used to say it's like I think the uh, the guidelines are 0.75, but that's someone who doesn't train. Yeah. But for carbs, it's much higher. Yeah. Uh, so carbohydrates. Uh, so for example, if you're working out, you could be anywhere between five and seven if you're doing an hour's training. Yeah. Anywhere between an hour and three hours training, then you would need to up that. Uh, mm. So maybe six to ten. When we say six to ten, six to ten grams per ki- body weight kilogram. Yeah, yeah. So you can see how much bigger it is. Uh, it's a lot more. And then yeah. obviously, if you're doing like over four hours, like ultra marathons and marathons, yeah, then, you, then you're looking like eight, between eight and 12. Yeah. For a food source, it's hard to get that much. Yeah. It? Yeah. it is, yeah. yes. And, and, and the food source, can you imagine eating, yeah. you know, yeah. 12 <laughs> That's grams? That's the thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. You struggle to get so and, much and food it's, in. Yeah, so it, it, it's. it's it's a lot. Mm. It, it, if you think about it, like if you're 70 kilograms like a uh, average male, then you, you've got to eat 12 really? grams yeah. times yeah. 70. Yeah. And, it's, and that's why in a way the mass gain is great for you to enjoy, but at the same time get those nutrients in your body. Easier. Yeah, yeah. easier. Yeah. yeah. So then I hope that answers your question because yeah. uh, really it's... I mean, like I said, the name doesn't really help, <laughs> but just kind of get past the, the, the name, yeah, yeah, the stereotype. Mm. Mm. Makes sense. So then what we did was introduce the protein, because we all know protein's super, super important for yeah. recovery. So then what we've done is we've also staggered the protein, so you've got the whey protein in there for fast recovery, and then you've got your milk protein and your casein, which is more the medium to slow so the whole process is actually a sustained process yeah. so, so the casein could you use before bed or it, you can yes okay. um, but depending on if uh if you're looking to just recover overnight yeah then you're probably best going for something like a product like the oblivion yeah, uh, yeah. because you don't want any really other calories well, yeah. yeah so with the hulk it's best really straight after your training session to to kind of get your energy yeah. back up it's going to keep the protein yeah exactly because if you're going to if you're going to take it before bed, then there may be a chance that your body may take the carbs and convert them into yeah, fat. Yeah. Um, so that's why it's all about the timing, um, your diet, yeah. and how much you take of it. So I hope that answers your yeah. question. Yeah. Too, Jack, like how much? And I mean, it's not a straightforward answer. Everyone's different. Yeah. But everyone's different, yeah. But most males' um, average uh, is 2,500 calories. Yeah. And uh, we... We tend not to say how much percentage should be carbohydrates because it, it could throw... Yeah. It's like 280 it's calories per cent. Yeah, 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 exactly. So it's it's all about looking at the nutrients rather than yeah. the percentage of what your calories you should take. Yeah, yeah. Um, so then, then we go back to obviously the body weight, what your physical activity is. What you're trying to do. What you're trying yeah, to do, yeah. yeah. But certainly for uh, this episode, um, with a deadlift, you've got the explosive power, and if you're constantly, if you're training for that the power, yeah, yeah. Um, then yes, you, you, you're gonna have to top up your carbs. Yeah, definitely. So I hope that answers. So it's gonna help the deadlift, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is, yeah, it is, uh, and um, in a way, it's uh, it, it's just one of those that you can enjoy, and it's yeah. a, a lot like a 
um, it does smell shit. Yes, it so smells good. Smell. Yeah, it, smell yeah, good. it does smell good. Oh, well, I hope it does. <laughs> The mask is what I've tried have been like very sweet and like yeah, <laughs> and and this is the problem because like the ones that are a cheaper version of mask gainers, when I say that a less lower quality mm. is because they usually use very just the cheapest things. The che cheapest, yeah. It's basically they load it all up with the fast sugars, mm. so then that doesn't really help you right, like, so in you're a not slow release. Slow, yeah. Exactly, so you're not going to slow release. So what you do is you you tend to find it being filled with things like the sugars. Um, they may put a lot of creatine, which is, I think, which is good in a way for your energy. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but we can talk about so that a little bit time. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, but it's just I think with us keeping it simple, it gives the end user um, the option to kind of what they want to take yeah, because yeah. they may not want creatine. You know, so for example, like uh, you're talking about women, but they may not want creatine in the in the yeah, in, yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in the carbs and protein. So, and I always think with supplements, you need to kind of take them one by one. Yeah, yeah. Because you really want to kind of get the maximum from a particular supplement mm -hmm. before then looking. To add other things. Yeah, add other so things. So no creatine in this now. No creatine, no. So but you can stack it with it. Yeah, yeah, so you can stack it with it. And But the great thing is, is if there's no creatine and there's no other things, yeah. then physically, just just pure, pure yeah, so physically, <laughs> physically, we can get more carbs and more protein. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's why we, we try to keep it as uh, simple, high quality in just a carbs and protein product. But we call it mass gainer because you can, you can be able to yeah. really get those power, like uh, the power exercises in to really get you through those. So for like, example, your deadlifts or any other core exercises. Mm. Yeah. Sounds great. Sounds yeah. good. Thanks, Beth. Thanks, Jack, for having me at Bespoke Fitness today. So, we hope you enjoyed the video today and we look forward to bringing out more educational videos regarding the products. So, if you've got any comments, leave comments below and hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. What, what is the bell? It gives you notifications on the video if it's live. Sorry, I, I, I probably spent too much time in the lab. <laughs> so, 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 yes, so hit the bell and hopefully we'll see you again. Cheers, everyone. Thanks. Bye.